I don't think it was a good fight. Why? I thought it was boring. Yeah, you need to apologise about Madden Moff. Listening to the commentators, <laughs> everyone was split. Crawford quite a lot ahead. What were you watching? Because Crawford hit him hard. Um, Crawford disappointed me. I don't think Canelo is as fast as Madden Moff is. Yeah, but what Canelo has a lot better than Madden Moff is timing. He gave the last three rounds to Crawford. 11th and 12th were both Crawfords. I don't think they were Mad Mops. Welcome back to BoxCast. Today we're going to be uh, reviewing the recent fight between Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov. Um in the LA Riyadh season event. I think it was a good event. It looked pretty damn good. I enjoyed the m M&M performance. Uh, I didn't watch it, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not my cup of tea. Um, didn't understand most of it because the sound was... <laughs> I mean, it was probably good there, but like... <laughs> anyway, it was quite good. So yeah, good fight. Went the distance. I don't think it was a good fight. Why? I thought it was boring. It was more like a chess match. It was a technical so, fight. So, so hard to score. I'm and, not so sure, you know, on that. And you I know had what? Crawford I quite a lot ahead. I'm going to apologise. Yeah, you need to apologise about Madrimov. Because I he's a damn good fighter. completely written him off. and Just saying I was right. I totally that? disagree with you that Crawford easily won the fight. No, I don't think he easily won the fight, but I had Crawford quite a lot ahead. I did Because as a draw. I think he did more in the... No, no, I don't think it was a draw. It was close. I think the cards weren't that far off at the actual score. Because I think Madrimov was in every round, and I think every round was close, but I think Crawford was better nah, in... I don't think they do. Just, just that them. little bit better in um, most of them. Do why do why didn't they do 117, 111? What were you watching? The Crawford show. That's because you're a Crawford And I'll tell you fan. why. Shall I tell you why? You're wrong. Uh, yeah, whatever. I, he won the point. <laughs> you very, were like, actually, that's very, what you said. It was very, very wrong. Um, no, no, I, I bigged up Israel Madrimov before. I think he's a fantastic, I think he's world-class level fighter. I think he, I don't think it's disrespectful on Crawford. I think that was showing how good Madrimov is. I think he's genuinely, arguably the best at that weight other than Crawford now. I think it was really close. I think, yeah, ideally when it's that close, you want the scores to be like the 115, 113. But I think more of the rounds swung in Crawford's favour because... I don't think Crawford changed his game that much. I think Madrimov changed his game, which he said at the end as well, because normally he dives in with that Superman punch a lot more and he goes to the body and he's got his jab and he basically didn't really land his jab at all because Crawford switched in the first round, basically, isn't it, uh, to the southpaw from Orthodox. That's because he was getting caught. Well, he got caught by the right, but I think he, he worked out the gamble between I get caught by the right, but I'm not going to get done by his jab. Because Madrimov's jab is really, really good. And he basically, he didn't really land. <laughs> and that's why I think... Um, and if you go into the 12th round, look at Crawford's cor corner. They are screaming for him to make sure he wins that round because they knew yeah, how close because it was. Yeah, sw switch it into theirs. Um, Crawford disappointed me. No, I don't think he did. I just, I, I think it was more uh, Madrimov is that good. And we're, just a correction, I know we said Eastern European. We met Eastern European in style. We know Uzbekistan is Central Asia, like Kazakhstan, <laughs> etc. But Yeah, but it, he has got it, the they have Eastern that like European Eastern European style, style yeah. and a bit more like the Kazakh style. Um, but they've got lots of, he's got ridiculous amounts of amateur experience. So it's like Anusik and Lomachenko and co. Do you that. know what? I'll tell you what. The if, technical skill is very, very, very If good. that was his Length. 20th fight, yeah. Crawford doesn't beat him. I, I'm telling I you now. I would argue with that. Crawford does not beat him. Yeah, like I say, think it was I, um, close. I, I, but I think it just shows how good Crawford is because I think Madrimov is probably I the best Crawford in that division. I thought Crawford was gonna. Like I say, I was a bit disappointed with Crawford. I wasn't. I was more. I put um, it the other way. I'll tell you why. I think because um, Madrimov said at the end, "I've got more," but I was being cautious because they were trying to get the rematch. But I think a lot of what he wanted to do, like they took his jab away, Crawford, from the beginning. So I think as a chess match, if you analyze the moves, I think he was very, very good. As a fight, 
it wasn't Chisora and Joyce. Let's put it like that. Oh, no, That's a fight. Terrible. Apart from like near the it last was, round or two where they got warmed up. It was a really hard fight to score. It really, but really Madrimov was. was impressed me as discipline. He didn't go like diving in. He was like the, the feints, the footwork, his, his upper body movement. Because I've watched him before, highlights and stuff. I didn't appreciate, I appreciate his footwork. I didn't he's, appreciate his no, like, upper his, body his movement and his feint work. is fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I, I had it six rounds. His defense piece. is really... I, it's better yeah. than I expected. Yeah. I did six rounds apiece. No, I'll tell you what I... Because um, I don't think Madrimov really, even though he's been aggressive, he didn't really do as much in the first rounds, I don't think. He got in, no, I gave I him, think I gave, like, fifth one I had close, then the sixth and seventh. Um, yeah, fifth we, one I gave to him, I think Madrimov, all, I think fourth all, was close. Yeah, but again, look at that. I think all the judges gave Madrimov the, fair, the third round, one of the judges... And, and I give the Crawford. No, I mean I think the fir first one you could give to him. The second one, I gave I I give the first one to Crawford because I thought he adjusted better. But like the first round, it was just feeling each other out. And if you like the forward foot one, Madrimov was on the front foot, Crawford was on the back analyzing. But I like the fact he switched and just blocked off his jab. Second round, yeah, Crawford. Third round, Crawford. Fourth round, uh, Crawford. Fifth, I gave to Madrimov because I think he made enough of a difference and he switched the fight. Um, sixth and seventh, I gave to Crawford. And then eighth, um, eighth is eighth and ninth of like quite, because um, that's where Madrimov started catching him with that right in the head. I think in the eighth, he hit him twice. In the ninth, he got him with the, oh no, that was in the, and what did he do? Um, no, but he came back at the end of the eighth and the ninth. So I gave uh, eighth and ninth. I gave to Madrimov. Sorry, but Crawford came back near the end of the eighth round. That's when Madrimov looked like maybe he's switching the fight. He's worked him out. And then tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, I gave all to Crawford. He gave the last three rounds to Crawford. But the tenth is the iffy one. I might I could give either way. I was tenth round. I was going to do ten ten because I thought it was a draw. Eleventh and twelfth were both Crawford. I don't think they were Madrimovs. Tenth, you could give to Madrimov as well. Um, so yeah, I could score it. Do you know what? I can off. agree with. Yeah, but it depends what you like, isn't it? Because a lot of the first few rounds, Madrimov was the one on the front foot. I think near at the end, the last sort of championship rounds, I think even I, if you give to tenth to Madrimov, it's two one. I can, to I can agree with one fifteen, one thirteen, <laughs> yeah, either yeah. way. One sixteen, one. 112, only giving Madrimov four rounds. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I, like I wasn't. I would have said the judges' scorecards are I quite think, good. Look, I mean, everyone was. I think it. I don't think it's a robbery, as Mister Hearn no, said. No, I no, no. I think it, even Madrimov. No, knew. he's not saying it's a robbery because yeah. he say what he's saying is there's no way you can only give Madrimov four rounds. He agrees with the 115, 113. But he's saying you can't. Well, well if I analyze mine, mine's basically that's cool. Yeah. yeah. If you give the tenth, because that should be close, I think you can give that to Madrimov. Then it's 116, 112. So uh, no, I, I can see it. But then listening but to. But like you can give the first round to him, then 115, 113 is about the right yeah, score. Yeah. I mean, on Twitter and on the listening to the commentators, <coughs> everyone was split. Yeah, yeah, because it depends what you like. Everyone was split. But I think for me, it's the. You could see that little bit of difference in why. Crawford is Crawford. He's the pound for pound king, or in that top three, he was slightly better because he was hitting them with more combinations when he was getting them than Madrimov was more like one, maybe two. Because his corner were telling him, isn't it, in the in the middle rounds where the, you need to do combinations, and I don't think it wasn't because he wasn't trying. I think it was just that Crawford's that good, and he blocked his jab off when it, and most of his fights he gets from his jab. He sets up from the jab and does it. The fact that he adjusted as well. I'm impressed by. It. I think Madrimov is like world say, class bordering on elite. If Madrimov, I, if this was Madrimov's twentieth professional fight, he'd beat Crawford. I think. Well, I think if he if he didn't fight Crawford now and fought the other guys in this division, I think he gives all of them a headache. Madrimov, I think he beats Spence. I don't think Spence beats him. No, oh, he. I think he batters Spence because I think he's got too good a chin. He's not going to get knocked out because yeah. Crawford hits him hard. And to be fair, Badrimov hit Crawford hard, so I think people like Crawford's got a chin Yeah, as well. you can tell Crawford's been in a fight. His face is a match. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Crawford's face was worse than the first few rounds because because Madrimov wasn't thrown that many, but when he was hit, when he landed, they were like loaded, even through the gloves. Like you say, you could it feel wasn't. It. But I think Crawford near the end did enough yeah. to get it, just turned it, it, it enough it in his favour. It wasn't an exciting fight, let's be honest. I enjoyed it. 
I didn't. It wasn't, like I said, it's not a joystick. It just disorder. wasn't an exciting fight for me. Yeah. For a boxing But purist, I don't think it can be because I think they're both too good technically yeah. to make it like that. Um, Crawford tried to get him out of there. And I think that was, and I think Madrimov was trying the other way as well. But I think they're both them are chins yeah. and the defense is too good. Because like the, the the number of punches landed isn't that much compared to to what normally happens in a fight. Be interesting to see if you do a rematch. I, I think he's earned a rematch. I just don't think for political reasons or whatever for belt ones, Crawford's going to. It doesn't make as much sense for Crawford. I think Madrimov it makes sense. But where does Crawford go after this? Does he go for the he's other the belts champions? in that division? I don't think he goes up. Yeah, they're all he, he going about Canelo, but I think he needs yeah, to stay. stay that Canelo division. will destroy him. On that performance, Canelo destroys him, mate. He really, really does. I, I, I think it'll just be boring like that. Crawford ain't going to get hit that much, but I don't think his... Can, can't can, Madrimov, Crawford, but to be fair, like he said, it, I think Madrimov's a lot bigger than what his weight class. I think yeah. he could fight a lot higher. I think that is... But Canelo's got a granite chin, and if he can't get him out of there, I don't yeah, see how you beat him. I, I think that is woke well, Crawford up a little bit, because I was expecting him to be screaming out Canelo after the fight. And he mm. wasn't. And I think he's realised, if I move up to one, To be fair, eight, I don't think he's ever been screaming at Canelo. I think it was more, like he said, it's a money fight, yeah, a legacy it's, fight. It's, it's not like something he's chasing. It's if it happens, he's open to doing yeah, it. Canelo, because you know you're going to get ridiculous yeah, I, money. No, I think Canelo, Canelo absolutely. I don't won. think it makes sense for Canelo to do that one. No, Canelo it's better destroys him. Canelo. I'd say Canelo destroys him. And quite no, easily. I'm not so sure. Canelo, Canelo destroys wins, him. probably, but I'm not sure. Knock, I'd change knocks him out easily, I think. Crawford won't want to go near him once he tastes Canelo I don't think, power. I don't think Canelo's as fast as Madrimov is. I think Madrimov is deceptively quick-handed yeah, but, and what, powerful. Yeah, but what Canelo has a lot better than Madrimov is timing. Canelo's timing is perfect. Canelo's better puncher, yeah, yeah. Oh, to be fair, Madrimov was more accurate, I think, than uh, Crawford, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, 35%. And Canelo ain't going to be worrying what Bud throws 30% in. overall. Yeah, on that, that would be my concern. Canelo's just... If, if, if that's the limit of power, I think Canelo yeah. can take that. He's and taken he, from Golovkin. I don't just, think he's going to be... just walk through it. Um, well, no, I think he'll slow him down because I think Crawford throws enough and enough angles and things and his timing is good. <laughs> but I don't... From that performance, depending on what you think of Madrimov, he might not have enough power to take Canelo out. But I think that's more... I think this is more how good Madrimov is than how bad Crawford is because I think Crawford was better. You see, I do, that class is this, I, that I little think bit this, more. This, but I think Madrimov is world level at that. Is, is I think deserving of a you're starting to see a little bit of father time catching up with Crawford as well. I wouldn't agree because I think he was faster than Madrimov. <laughs> yeah, he was faster in his punches. His combinations were still slick. I think he's more cautious. He's a more measured. He isn't as aggressive as he can be. Like when he got hit, you could see. Because it was funny. I was listening to commentators and like, oh, Madrimov's in back. I'm thinking, no, Crawford's waiting for Madrimov to open up, and then he bangs. If he gets hit once, he hits him back with two or three punches. Um, and Madrimov only really got the single singles. There's one bit, there's a, a couple of times where he got the two punches in. There was that, those rounds in the eighth and ninth where he was getting a few combinations, but not never more than two where he's landing them. Um, but that the, the mount he landed was quite impressive. Yeah, but that's a bad game plan from Madrimov's team. He should have been working on more combinations, two, three, fours. I think they were. I just don't think he got it. I think his combination, like I said, is off nah, his jab. He, no, because he wasn't And he throwing, never got his jab in. No, because he wasn't throwing two, three, fours. He was just throwing a single shot. Yeah, yeah, because I, I think he knew you can't hit him. No, I think he's... He, he, he hasn't got it until that round where Crawford no, I don't agree. overstepped a little bit. I think if you start throwing two, threes and fours... You, You're not going to catch Crawford. It's, you he's will. He's too good. Yeah, no, I, I don't agree. I there's, think there's nobody caught him with two threes and fours in now. No, in you his might you fights. might f miss the first two, but Crawford always brings that defense down to have a look, and that's where you can catch him with the three four. Yeah. Uh, no, you can get. Yeah, I, I I don't think he wasn't that he wasn't trying to throw him. He he caught him, like uh, and his overhand right was really catching. But I think that's only because Crawford stayed in the south ball because it blocks off his jab. Uh, I think because uh, he's got the reach advantage. I think that's where Mad Madrimov. If he had a bit more reach. He would be very, very dangerous. Uh, I think Madrinoff, he's, he's more stocky and a shorter thing, and Crawford's got the long, long reach no, for his size. I think Madrinoff will be thinking, I should have threw a lot more punches. Yeah, yeah, I think that's why he said he's got, at the end, if you heard his thing, he said, I got yeah. more. I, in and the, I think that's what he needed to do, throw more um, punches. Tank, isn't it? But Even like, if he's um, in the arms. Um, what weight would the division is? Super... 
Junior middleweight. Junior middleweight, isn't it? Super welterweight, isn't it? Super welterweight. It used to be light middleweight. Yeah, yeah, they're all, it, it's still a different in different ones. Yeah, light middleweight in Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, what was I going to do? Yeah, I was just going to get the rankings and see who else is in there. Yeah, I'd say it was, it was most, prob- for me, it was the least entertaining fight on the card. <laughs> Well, I haven't seen it. This apart from Kladzic and Morel, so uh, we're going to do a separate video on the other fights on there. Uh, yeah, it's a, I think it was a, it's a technical masterclass between two technically really, really good fighters. Um, I think Crawford was ahead, edged ahead. I think his skill level and stuff was just that bit higher. But massive kudos to Madrimov because I think he was that was showing how good he is. Yeah, you know, rather he's, than he was only slightly off the pound. He's, for pound. he's, uh, he's one got, of the best. He's got, like I say, um, I had completely written him off. Um, I told you. I thought Crawford was... was dangerous. No, I, thought, I just <laughs> thought Crawford was going to be a so, so much better. Um, I really, really did. I think I think he thought he'd work him out because I think he was trying to... Crawford was trying to get him to open up and do more of those punches. And I think Madrimov's corner where they got it right was the patience. But um, if he hadn't been patient, I think Crawford... Catches him taking because when he did catch him a few times, he did uh, slow him down quite a lot. I don't think he hurt him, hurt him, but like there was bits where he was like, "Yeah, Crawford's got power as well." Um, but yeah, I think it was Crawford is just too good. I think there's that he, he they were their game plan worked and he stopped his, his jab. But the fact that Madrimov got through the overhand rights. Uh, or the straight right, but with his like Superman punch, the angles and stuff, and his defense is way better than what it looks like on YouTube highlights <laughs> and in other fights. But I think here he's been um, disciplined because of who he's fighting. He's changed his game plan. Yeah, and I think that is where he fights a little bit. Yeah, and I don't think Crawford's changed. I think Crawford just is Crawford. He just adjusts. I think. Um, I think that's where Matt Ross made why a I mistake. Think Crawford's slightly ahead. Well, you might be right in that. I think that's where he's think that's made one, a mistake. What, at the end, he was a bit disappointed, thinking, yeah. I've changed my fight a little bit. Yeah, and I don't think he should have. I and think he should have... Yeah, you've got to change a little bit because you are going in with a master technician, but... I d- well, if, against the master counterpuncher. I just think he could have thrown a few more... As, as well, a few, yeah, more combination punches, I think... Dave, I'm no, I'm no I boxing on, trainer. On the, uh, but. Well, I, I agree. I think on the power punches, he was good. I think it's on the jabs and the other things because he never really, you know, got any hardly through. <laughs> like normally he jabs to the head, he jabs to the body. Yeah, on his I think other he was so concentrated on co- trying to cause, you know, with his head movement and body movement, I think he was more concentrating on that and disrupting Crawford than he was yeah, throwing fight punches. His own fight. Um, and there I agree with you. I think, and it, I, it, that's where I was like, it's all well and good doing them faints and stuff, but don't keep fainting and fainting and fainting. You've, you you've, can't fight for twelve rounds. You've got to, <laughs> you've got to hit him. You've some got points. to fight and, and throw some punches in between. And he was um, good, but like I don't think. Yeah, I agree. I think if punch output was lower, and I think that's because of they've adjusted for Crawford. So he never really allowed Crawford yeah. to get into rhythm, which is, yeah, well done. Yeah. But you didn't get your own no, game plan out where, there, and yeah. I think that's where he's disappointing. Um, I, I'd be Whereas int- Crawford, I think, did what he does. He I'd don't be think interested to see his it's like, punch stats from his last few fights. Madrimov, I, 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 I bet it's better than this one. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I'd say even, I'd say he throws a lot more punches. Well, Crawford normally isn't the one who throws loads of punches, but he had 433. Madrov's only had 275. And that's what I think he needs to be like about 100 higher than that, 80 to 100 higher. And then, yeah, then he's got a... And it's, it's like Jabs is only 19 and 5 to the body, whereas Crawford's got 40. He didn't really attack the body at all, did he? He didn't get... really. He tried a couple of times, but Crawford's with the long arms, and, they, and then he didn't... He only went after uh, the headshot. Yeah, but I don't like, know whether that was a tactic either, where he was trying to just... Uh, show him his power and do the yeah. punch because his, his right hand he got through fantastic well your right hand a you lot are, of times and his angles for it were, yeah your, your right hand you are going to be more successful landing on a southpaw yeah uh, well, that, well that's why I think Crawford they, they worked it out took the gamble on right we'll allow that through but we're I'm going to kill his jab because if Crawford had gone right handed himself he could have thrown he'd have caught he'd have landed his left jab a lot more yeah yeah 
But obviously, he's naturally more left-handed. Crawford, he's, he's isn't he? slightly prefers. Um, but well, I, I think that was the calculated gamble. He's taken it and just did faster than he would have normally. Because normally it takes a few rounds or something. Judge. He changed in the first round straight away. Yeah. Because I'm going to take that away from you. I'll buy, I'll eat that one, but I'll take that one away. And they worked out because you're not going to throw with many of them as your jab. And I think that's where madrimov has gone down in the amount of punch output because he normally loads up on his, uh, normally builds on his jab. And his jab is really, really good. He's got a powerful jab. Yeah, but like I said, he just seemed more. And, and more, yeah. It, it was more, he was, that's more he was, what he was conscious, his head movement and body movement. was Which was fantastic. But it, but, but like it took away say, from his game. Yeah, and <laughs> I agree. I think that might and be it, the it analysis is hard, of it. Obviously, I have done a little bit of boxing. It is hard. When you've got such a, you know, you're doing such head movement, you do forget to it's throw the fo punches. You're focused on your movement yeah, you rather do forget. than your punch uh, the other guy. And it is mentally well, draining. I think Crawford is used to doing that because that's what he does anyway. Um, and I think on no, no, what Crawford, suffered from it. No, what, what's different is, is Crawford's used to fighting that way all the time. Madrinoff isn't. Isn't he it's adjusted? Yeah, mentally, yeah, that's my point. Mentally, it's harder for him. Yeah, you've got to focus uh, more on your, what your, like your movement yeah. rather than, wait a minute, I've got to get through. And that's why I think he got through with the punch that he is naturally, the that right hand. I mean, because there were a lot of, the comments that, that we received from the video we did before the fight, a lot of people were tipping Madron off to win. There are a lot online on YouTube, yeah. we're saying. Yeah, uh, well, well, well I, you the one who was <laughs> like underplaying. No, I, 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 thought, I, I, I thought you were just trying to get comments for our video, to be honest. I, I had completely <laughs> written them off. That's I, why I didn't say too I much. genuinely thought it was... No, no, he's a very, very good um, fighter. Um... But see, see the others in the in the division. There's Fundora. I think Madrimov beats him. The Simju and Ortiz Junior. Right, all of them are good. But I think any of them. Well, well, Fundora and them too. Because Fundora is obviously awkward. I think he gives any yeah, of them a good Fundora fight. Is... I think he beats Spence. Uh, who's our guy in the division? They haven't got him in that one. Uh, Fundora is a difficult one? one because he's so tall. Yeah, he's awkward. And and the thing is, Madrimov's arms are short even for his yeah. height. I think his reach is less than what. Um. Um, and and I think, but like I think he can box uh, there. But then Tim Zhu is very good. Tim Zhu, sorry, is very good. Otis uh, Virgil Ortiz Junior. is very good. Uh, and there's a few others in that division, isn't it? But I think he gives all of them a good fight, as he did with. I I think they're all close. Obviously, with different styles, I would want to see them because like, I think Madrimov versus either of them that'd be a really good fight. Well, really good boxing match. I'm not sure they'd be great fights because they might be like that a bit, where they, you know, respect each other. But um, I think Fondora Zoo have got a fight again. Yeah, that's the that's the main one. Ortiz Jr. is fighting next week. Yeah, he's fighting one of the other contenders. Um. um so Madrilov can go and get a belt back there's, pretty there's, quickly. There's, there's good, good fighters in this vision. I mean, and he's got a good, he has got a good promoter in Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn's going to get oh, him he, back on out. that performance, he has to get yeah. it. He's not, he's, that's not a, oh, you've lost and you're out now. That's like you're losing against one of the best fighters of all time. It's not like a... Crawford, I don't know where he goes. I think he's just going to go after belts in this division. But I don't know if he'd, I think they'd fight each other before they fight yeah, him. Yeah, does Crawford go... Let's try and unify this whole division. I think, because like I say, I think another step up at well, where he's going to well, get found Well, I've out. said before, I think Crawford should just go for the three weight undisputed, well, for, for, be four, which is historic. Four weight. He's four weight champion now. Yeah, so it would be four weight undisputed, wouldn't no, it? No, no, three. He, wasn't, he only stayed in the lightweight or whatever it was, 135 for a little bit of time. He only did like a little bit and then moved up weight quite quick. Uh, he's world champion. I think he was unified champion. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, so he's two weight he's, unified. He's, he's three weight unified. I think he's two weight undisputed. Okay. Uh, and he's four weight world champion. <laughs> Confusing, I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't like... Well, he started at 135, isn't it? And then he was, he was, um, he was a world champion. He went to 140, where he became undisputed. 147, he's undisputed. Obviously, he's now... It was his first world title off. Good question. 
Now you put me on the spot. Bom, bom, oh, bom, the um, bom. Scottish guy. Ricky Burns. Ricky Burns, yeah. Which probably his toughest fight he's ever had, to be honest, apart from Madrimov. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say. Um, probably, yes. Yeah, I don't know where I want to see Crawford. Because Ricky Burns is a really good fighter. Yeah. I don't know where I want to see Crawford go next. I think stay at this. Well, if you look at the list of people, there's no. this is a loaded division. It's just stacked. Um, I, I just. I don't want to see him against Spence yet, unless Spence recovers and beats one of these guys. Tim Zhu, Virgil Ortiz Jr. and Fundora. And then think, we have our man, but he's not as good. Josh Kelly. No, Josh Kelly. I mean, is quite Josh good. Kelly's got a fight against Liam Smith coming yeah, up. Yeah, they got to do their thing. <clears throat> I think the Z- uh, Zavas is quite good. Or Zayas. Zayas, his name is, I think, Cuban guy. Uh, Spence. Talk Forget about Spence. Him. Spence is Yeah, I don't gone. think he's there now. I think unless he beats one of these. And, and I don't think he's he not going to. I don't think he beats Madrimov on that performance. No. Um, Tim Zhu, other than the cut against Fundora and Fundora because he's awkward, I don't know. But Tim Zhu, if he fights like he did before he got cut, I think, yeah, that's hot. I don't think Spence beats him. Virgil Ortiz, from what I've seen, and we'll find out. Obviously, we're going to make a video about his next fight coming up next weekend. Yeah. I don't um, think he beats him. So I think all of them are like, yeah, I just think I'm not sure he's in the division. I think Crawford has the chance of beating all of them. At, because I, of who he is. Yeah, but, I, don't, I just think Crawford moving but on. But I think he needs them to unify a little bit. So I don't think he's going to do three, four mm. fights. I think he needs to do, he only wants to do one or two. And then it's whoever it is. Whoever out of them is the best. Vandora, Tim Zhu. Realistically he, though, Crawford fighting them is mega, mega. But Crawford moving up, I think, I just think you, you get I, to I, I, If I was him, I wouldn't move up from that performance because no. I think you've come up, you realise that yeah, this, yeah. the weight does make a difference. I think, no, like Although say, I think Madrimov is really strong for that size. Mm. It's a bit like Oscar De La Hoya. He found out moving up to middleweight, <laughs> you get back down quickly. Um, yeah. I, think, I think that's what might happen with Crawford. I, um, I think he has to have more <clears throat> fights at this division, get used to it. Um you see, even after that, then, then age becomes a major concern. Yeah, I think that's what his concern is. He only wants to think. I think that's why the Canelo thing, I don't think it's a realistic thing. I think it's the pay packet. Win, no. lose or draw, he doesn't lose anything. It's only Canelo who's going to lose a bit of respect because obviously he's the bigger guy. I think if Crawford loses, they're going to go, yeah, he's just too far. It doesn't really damage his legacy. Yeah, if he, he wins, it's fantastic. Yeah, if he loses, he doesn't lose Canelo anything. ain't going to drop down. And he gets a hundred million pay packet. Canelo ain't going to, Canelo can't drop down. I don't think No, because we're talking about Canelo dropping down to 160. He ain't going to drop down to 160. Why does he have to change his weight? So he's because, fighting like heavyweight. Why is he going to go down? Be Crawford moving up to 168, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I'd like to say. I don't want him to see, the, I, as much as I'd want to see the fight, I don't think sensible from either fighters. I don't think it makes no. sense for Canelo. I don't think it makes and sense for And this is where the, uh, the Saudis... I want him to go three weight undisputed. Yeah, the, the Saudis need to be a little bit careful. Because you then are, you get into comical fights. Yeah, and it's where someone can get seriously injured. Yeah, yeah. Um, you said you do need to be very careful. Yeah, it's all well and good talking about dream uh, fights. Uh, um, you know, but be very, very careful. Yeah, there's weight divisions for uh, a reason. I hate to say that cliche. Um, but, and we've always been sporting the yeah. small fighter, like in a way and bam, bam, and in a way and, no, and Crawford. The, the, but there's limits to yeah. everybody. And that's why I like the in a way's comments and they've taken the time because he's fighting four or five fights or three or four yeah. fights at this weight division before he jumps. Yeah, we, we've seen in the first fight that he, you know, he is his first weight jump up when his weight class was fantastic performance. But like, he's still taking the time because they're like, yeah, we got to wait, let our body grow into it. Yeah. That's why with Bam Bam, I want them to take the time a little because he's only young as well. I don't want him to rush the weights because you're going to, you come up with people like that. And then, you know, not everybody's as good as Crawford um, in defense and or taking punches. And against the lesser fighter jumping up, Madam would have destroyed them. He catches you on one of those rights, they ain't getting up. <laughs> That's mm. why I think he beats Spence. I, I think he's a better boxer. Spence is not... Uh, everyone needs to stop talking about Spence. I'm just doing it to wind you up. <laughs> Spence needs to retire. Yeah, I, I said that. Plain should, and simple, he needs I to retire. I think whatever it was he and had, he doesn't need to jump up and keep wait. putting him in the pound for pound top 10 rankings. Needs to retire as well. Yeah, because you, you're <laughs> absolutely smoking heroin. You must be. To yeah, put he in. was a fantastic fighter, but I think he was how, five yeah, years ago. Yeah, I think after he's lost to Crawford, that that wasn't argument's he, been answered. It answered. wasn't even just the loss to Crawford. Even before that, 
because he didn't he didn't have a fight for how long? Yeah, yeah he's, he would allow a bit of time for the injury and stuff. But I think if if Crawford's answered that question, Crawford deserves to be there. But there are other fighters now that deserve to come up yeah, just into that list. Either I, he should be taken out unless he brings out a performance now. Either need to retire and go. Or, or pull out a performance no, against one of these guys if he's going to go this no, way. No, not even then, guys. Or have a fight. Yeah, yeah. You're not well, even. Well, that's what I mean. Have a fight. He's not somebody. having a fight. He's not even getting talked fight, fight about having else. a fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, I think there's people talking about it, but I don't think it, old Spence fans no, the, talking about it. No, no. The problem is, they're still is upset. Spence is going to want huge money. He's not. He's not worth it anymore. Yeah, he's not playing the side on that. He's not the A side. He's on that literally. At, he's got a. Not start at the bottom, but he's not the top draw. He, he, he's got a name, and people want to see will want to see fight. But I think if you know boxing from what his last performance, for what he looks like, he doesn't look like the old Errol Spence. And yeah, he's a good boxer. He's a very very good boxer. Was but yeah, that's the point. I agree. Was yeah, uh, and, and he's I, either got to be graceful and retire and uh, take his record. I was or, a big Spence fan. I yeah, really, yeah, so really am I. was. Um, well, we said that in our when before the fight with Crawford and Spence. I think, yeah, is they either go and have some fights, rebuild, or just retire because, yeah, yeah, it's it's nice that you, you your name still gets mentioned or we'll fight, you know, you know. Spence, I think you got to be but, realistic and but, listen to your body and listen to your brain because that, like you said, the problem with it is you can get hurt badly. Yeah, and. I don't think he he's did. not poor. He's made a good yeah. whack of money. He doesn't need to do it. Yeah, I can understand for you want to get back, but like nobody wants to stop something like the one you're yeah. in sport. The, and, but you've got to be sensible. And the problem being is he'll be that guy who people start beating because he had a name. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they, if everybody else, it makes sense to have him on their resume. It doesn't yeah. make his sense for him to have. And he's bigger it, than all of these other than Crawford. And that's where it, it, you start losing your legacy then. And yeah. He deserves better than that. Yeah, yeah. He'd because be he really was a does. fantastic fighter. Yeah, he was. He, uh, he was. He was in that pound for pound list, and he was there. Yeah, he was, should deserve to be there. But now, yeah, they need to take him out of these rankings and these things. He's not so in it. Either not, say have a fight or, and show it, or don't. Yeah, he's not know. in the top ten pound for pound, yeah. plain and simple. Um, but he seems to be in everyone's, and I, I don't get it. Well, he's not in ours. No, he's not in ours. Ours is the only one that counts. He's not in my top twenty-five. Ours is the only one that counts. Yeah, it, well, I don't even consider him boxing now because, like you said, no, he's not a fight, so he's out the game now. So yeah. I only take it to people who are there. I mean, Crawford uh, only fights once a year anyway. I'd like to see him fighting more, to be honest. Um, but I think a little bit of his is the the same thing. It's it's for him. It's more who does he fight? And it's like nobody's really his bigger name. It's like if he really is jumping up in names bigger than him in in boxing, you've either got to go to Canelo or a heavyweight. I don't think there's anybody in the lower divisions who is as a big and draw as he is and that's the problem you get stuck with because his legacy is there yeah there's like say no way your bam 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 hasn't got as big a name yet but he's exciting enough in a way but he's too small um all right tank but again they're, they're too far apart to make any sense i don't who does he fight around his that's got a name none of them or the Tyrone ennis no he hasn't got the name either he's got the name and he doesn't want to go back to 147 mm. sadly Spence versus him would be good. <laughs> Ennis destroys him. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Ennis is way too quick and too cute. Yeah, I, seriously. I would. Uh, no, I'd, like I say, it'd be, I'm interested to see what... I'll see I, what he says, but he no, just said... No, he it's, not, even what, it's not even what Crawford says next, is it? Let's be honest. It's what the Saudis say next. Yeah, yeah. His excellency uh, might change the plan. It's what How they much say money next. they put him for, which I'm um, afraid. Like. But if he stays at that division, I think there's enough people there to make really good. And I want, and and to be honest, I'm a bit of a Mad Romo fan now as well. I'd like to watch him. I, I would. I, I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I would. I think he's very, very, very good. It'd be nice to see Crawford become a four be, a, a four belt holder in that division, and I think that's what he should concentrate on. Yeah, forget about so, moving too. up. Um, cause, and I, cause I think it's an epic achievement because yeah. if you beat the oh, level of the fighters huge. in this division Fandora, Zoo and uh, Ortiz Absolutely Jr and huge. some of the others I think that and then it's like the the well we're going to do the a video about the next fight Virgil Ortiz versus Boachuk the Ukrainian guy yeah. good record as well 24 and 1 um, a lot of knockouts in his we're going to discuss that in our, well, yeah. our I just, video um, soon and I think uh Tim Zoo versus Fundora. I want to see that. 
And then I think there's a few other people in the division as well that are interesting. So, yeah, yeah. So stay in that good. division. Um, Predictions? What did we have? I think I had, I had Terence by KO in around nine. I think I had picked them. I'm you sure had I picked some them. points. Sure I think. Them on right. so I think you were good. You had him. <laughs> no, you Wait a minute. You were the one who said Madrimov was rubbish. You had Crawford on points. I was someone like, yeah, Madrimov's really good, but I'll have one round. Or no, did we, I say no, 10? we picked two, bumps? didn't we? Yeah, yeah. You put Crawford ninth and a Crawford six. And I put Crawford points and a Crawford fifth round KO. Oh, it was, what do we think will happen and what do we want to happen? Yeah. So I think that the smaller rounds is what we wanted to happen and what we, but uh, to be fair, haven't seen Madrimov. I'm happy that it's got there. I think he is, I don't think he deserved to be knocked out. So He was never going to get knocked out, was he? No, he's too strong. Um, so, and, right. And, and he's gone up in my, put your well, comments. he's definitely gone up in your yeah, opinion. Put your comments in, tell me how, my crap prediction and yes you know your right. prediction was right my prediction was right but how um you were my prediction Madrimov. on madrimov that was yeah. close um yeah. but close because i think madrimov is that good not because crawford is bad i think what it does for madrimov though is it does it's raised his yeah. huge i know but i think he deserves it yeah. i think he's that good um, and like i say how old's madrimov about 30 he, get he's 30, in, 31. He yeah. needs to get, get back well, in the ring yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. He, I don't, I, I don't think there's any disrespect in that loss because yeah. you're up against no, it's not just one that. of the I, I would, kings mate, and it, his performance. It's not. He's had 11 fights. He needs to do more. So There's enough people in that Go and have a quick break. Get back in the gym. Get on the phone to Eddie Hearn. Get yourself some more fights. Top 10s. You know. He, 29. He could so, jump yeah, straight back into a well. Yeah jump straight back into another world title shot um, and just start again. Like I say, he he doesn't need to rebuild because... No, there's nothing to rebuild. There's nothing to rebuild. Um, I think what it will do, though, is it'll make people even more wary of fighting him, which might be the issue. Yeah, that might be the issue that he gets like a Crawford uh, where they don't want to fight him. Because Crawford's now got the name. If that's the but... case, go through the mandatory route. Um Oh, he's good enough to go. Yeah. So uh, like I said, I think he's a tough done. fight for anybody and, in that weight uh, class. Um, and I'd want to see him because I think, yeah, he's better than I thought he was. Even I was picking him up and I think he's better than what I thought he was. Because um, Crawford's crap. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what people are going to say. Wait a minute. Four weight world champion. Crawford's, not, undisputed. E Crawford's not even the top. Five <laughs> pound for pound now. You know, it's somebody's, gone down. Somebody's going to short these and put them up and say, like, these idiots don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Crawford's number eight on the pound for pound list now. Hey, we know more than those guys who keep putting Spencer on, Crawford, on the list. <laughs> Crawford, Crawford won, but you've put him down. Yeah. That's a baddest performance for us. I said before he's still number one. I don't no. think mine he's still number one. No, he's not for me. Yeah, I know you've seen never has sick been. and think you are, you know, in a way. Yeah. Um, but. Well, he was when he beat Spence. And then in a way came along and changed your mind. Didn't he? Yeah, but then who's sick what he did to Fiori? I think who's sick for me is the. Yeah, well, I think they're like 1A, 1B, and 1C. Yeah, who's sick But for I think me. Crawford's just. If if I do it on the purest point of view of what. who If if they were all the equal weight, who's the best? I think Crawford is the best. I think he no, wins all of them. Who's sick? If it was on whose performance I like the most, then I'd have probably in a way an Usyk is tied. Because <laughs> no. I like Usyk. But Usyk, uh, Usyk. to be fair, I think they're like all in there. They're, them three are in a class of their own. But this guy is, yeah, Madrimov is Israel Madrimov. I tell Shout you though, but do good. not count out little Bam Bam. Yeah, because he, he, he would be the one is special. Just underneath them three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he really, is really is. Um, that guy is well. Very I think there's special. him, and then Tank and Shakur, depending on who comes out of that lot of doing it with Loma, although he's a bit older. And do you know what? I, I was looking at Loma. He looks old. Did you see that? Yeah, when he was sitting by the side, I was like, "Yeah, he looks like his age." There, he looks well. <laughs> really old, mate. I um, I thought he's either wearing padded clothing or something or other. He looks like he he's... looks old. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. that's uh, yeah, but that's a another that's a, topic. Another video. Um, okay, done. Yeah, yeah. Another Riyadh season fight, and the Saudis put on a performance again. 
we'll be doing the other after card, other uh, undercard yeah, fights on a separate it. video. Yeah, when, once I've watched it, I apologise. Uh, we'll as be you doing can tell, them. I've been up all night doing my <laughs> yeah, homework. That's why I look a bit fresher than Simon. Um, <laughs> 10 hours, was it like 10 hour long? Yeah, well, that's what I looked at. I got up early enough to look and looked at it. It's like, you know, when you you fast forward on it and then I found the button that you can actually go to the fast, fast forward. Yeah. I'm looking at it and going, 10, 0, 0, because it was early. That's 10 hours. <laughs> all right, hey, let's go up yeah. to here. We uh, jumped about six, seven hours. Yeah, because you had all the prelim fights and things as well, didn't you? So yeah, it's it the was. whole thing. No, no, it's good on there. At least you can jump faster, isn't it? On the uh, Sky one, it's a bit tricky now because you have to go 30 second by 30, whatever it is. It takes forever yeah. to get to the end, even on a three hour one. But yeah, anyway, we will we will do them soon. Yeah, so first and, uh, kick off of the Riyadh season was good. I next think it was a really good event. Next one's in September, September. Wembley. Joshua, we'll be doing. Well, we'll be doing well, just movies, quickly as well, what was interesting was all the other promoters were there as well, weren't they? Oscar De La Hoya, PBC, Eddie yeah, there was Mare, a fair amount of fighters and all things there. Hey, Ben was there, and Bam Bam was there, uh, so, Loma was there. Just go, um, I think Ennis secure, was there. Secure, secure Stevens was there. He's in meetings with Eddie Hearn this week. Wasn't he? Am I am I right or wrong? Where Eddie Hearn was sitting because you could see that shirt of his. He had a. Yeah, Eddie the, seriously made that sure that shirt next out. to him. Yeah, well, he's trying, it looked get, like his head, he's trying it? to get a deal together, isn't he? Yeah, Shakur cool, and Eddie cool. Hearn. I thought that was uh, stuff going on there. Um, and then with Oscar De La Hoya there, is there going to be a little Shakur surprise? Well, well, I think they're trying to see who's going to set up the next big fight for him, isn't it? So I think, the, the, I think Mr., uh, Mr. Turkey Al Sheikh is just going to stick them all in a room and say, this is what's happening. And that's that. Well, hopefully it'll be tank. Yeah. But anyway, David yeah. is from the time. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Give Simon some grief for giving Madrimovs no credit. And uh, <laughs> I uh, deserve it. He does deserve it. I but he got the decision right still. Yeah, so, so, you know. But I'm not happy with the decision, by the way. So, Well, I am. I think it was good. No. So, um, but all kudos to Madrimov. I think he was, yeah, he's even better than I thought he was. So I'm, I'm impressed. I'm a fan. I'll be keeping an eye on him. And I'm sure we'll do more videos if he... They sort out fights. Yeah, I, I agree. I think he needs to have some fights. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment, the usual stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Ooh.